What's up guys and welcome back to LEGO Minifigures Online. In the last episode we unlocked the paleontologist and did more adventuring through the Isle of Yarn. Of course ran back into Dreadleg and in today's episode we're going to go into this pocket quest which is the pirate storage. Pirates use these deep caves to store their plundered loot. We'll also unlock the motorcycle mechanic which will be pretty darn cool so let's head in. Okay and we're ready to go. Area quest defeat the champion. We'll give it our best shot I guess but might be a little difficult, um, hmm. So this is actually a pretty big one, wow, okay. Um, a little intimidating, but we're almost at level six, and once we do, we can further upgrade our, our um, little friends here. Most certainly the Pizza Man, but we already have 12, or 1,260 stars. So that's quite a lot for what we're currently doing, so we'll definitely be able to get a few more upgrades in, and that'll be awesome. Let's get this. So I think that you know the guys we will upgrade are the Pizza Man and the Revolutionary Soldier. Of course, the Island Warrior is really cool, but I think that the Pizza Man and once again the Soldier are both very, very good as well. I think there's a little bit better to be worth prioritizing. So we're gonna be doing that. Hmm. Well, yeah, let's go across the bridge. <laughs> oh man, Corsan, evil pirate. They glow so much, and it looks really cool. I feel like if I were to die, I would want to be a glowy pirate that just beats people. I don't know if I want to do the beating people up part. I don't think I have it in me. All right, um, hmm. Seems like we're running up against two paths here. Let's go down this one. This one's a cannon area. So what's going on here? Hmm, it looks like this way might be the a real dead end then. Let's check this area out. There's a pirate sne sneaking around over here. I'm gonna take you out, or not. Why, are you invincible? Okay, now you're not. I was gonna say, it makes sense seeing how you're a ghost, but wow. <laughs> all right then, take them all out like this. Yep, 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 and that's actually pretty easy. And whoa, the bomb run! Whoa, that was a big explosion. I'm glad we ran away from that. That might have hurt. Okay then. So it looks like all the big guys are way down here. I don't know which one is the main boss, so we might want to back up a bit until we find out. Um, I'm not sure. Let's just start taking people out then. Shoot it like crazy. Take all you guys down. Grading your minifigures will make them more powerful. Yeah, I know, I know. And I'll be doing that in a moment. So we did reach level six, which is awesome. Okay. So we gotta take this guy out though, he's in no way. I guess none of those guys were the champion? That sort of makes sense, there's still more area to explore. Hmm, so maybe before we head into the fray here, we should level up our characters. So let's go to Pizza Man, upgrade, and then let's see. Lovers, sometimes you'll have the choice between two upgrades. Consider your choice carefully, Mahatis. You'll have to pay full price if you want to switch later. Oh no. Ouch! Yikes, okay, but at least we get the option to switch. What is this, this is, you'll do no more damage, or you'll move even, I wanted to make him a super fast class. I think that'll be really awesome for him. And then we'll leave the power to the revolutionary soldier. So we'll go over here and upgrade him a bit. And we have the option for more health or more damage. Of course, more damage. There we go. We're doing good, we're doing good. Now we can keep on moving forward. And there, there's a, there's a big kahuna. Let's start taking him out. Use that new damage we just got. Nice. We're already destroying him really quick here. And then while this runs out, we'll just attack him with our normal attacks. And we won't even need to. Quest complete to defeat the champion. We unlock a new minifigure. It is a motorcycle mechanic. Pretty darn cool with his wonderful handlebar mustache. <laughs> Very cool. So now we're back at like 300 stars. So we will have to do a lot of work to get back to where we once were. Not too big of a deal though. We'll be able to do it. All right, then let's go and unlock our chest though. What's inside of here? Hopefully not another sax, yes, it's another saxophone player. Two, I got a saxophone player head and a Hollywood starlet head. I actually think I have both of these already. So I, I wish we wouldn't get duplicates so often. Like we've gotten the saxophone player head like four or five times at this point, that's sort of disappointing. All right, then let's take this out. We gotta make sure we focus on the, um, more than anything we need to focus on the pirates because they actually give us more XP. So of course we'll be working towards level seven, but it's not a big priority for today's episode. All right, then let's get out of here. We can skid down all in this way and just make our way out of here. Let's, we can actually teleport like that and be a bit quick with it. There we go. <laughs> nice. So if you're ever at the end of a area like that, you don't have to run all the way back, which is actually pretty nice. Alrighty then, with that being said, why don't we go assembly and then we have five pieces, so we'll turn that into 250. Nice and easy, right off the bat. We just need one more, the, the legs of Hollywood Starlet to actually get, you know, that done, and then everything else is a little more difficult. We don't have any other pieces of anything else. So, whoa, okay, they just sort of present themselves on the floor for me. I'll take them, I'll take them. And now we can continue on with 629 different stars. I'm sure we can make something useful out of it, but for now, we're just gonna go through over here and see what the world has for us. These guys are keeping on attack. You're gonna chase me, I'm gonna hit back then, jeez. 
<laughs> I was gonna try to leave you alone so that you could live longer, but I mean, you're already a ghost, so maybe I should never mind that fact. And who's that? Oh, now they have more people fighting. Oh, that's a pirate. All right, let's push back the ghost pirates. I'll do my best. I will make, make sure to indubitably do my best, but those ghost pirates seem to be pretty darn tough. Why would the ghost pirates attack the living pirates, you know? I guess I guess they would kill them, and then they'd be on their side, because the ghost pirates, you know, once you know, normal pirate dies because of the ghost pirate. Hmm, maybe that's the idea. Maybe that's their plan. They want to kill all the pirates so that they have an unstoppable ghost pirate army. <laughs> that might be a little weird, though. I don't know. Oh gosh, there's a lot of stuff we're unlocking here. We can just sit here and attack these guys forever though and get tons of XP, but not really what I'm interested in. Those bombs are crazy, crazy cool looking to say the least. <laughs> okay, so we just gotta keep destroying these guys until we get that um, achievement unlocked. Not really achievement, but quest completed. Because they're everywhere, they really are. Take these guys out, and these guys, they just keep landing here again and then we can just keep attacking them. Over and over and over. <laughs> All right. Take care of you as well. I love how much damage he does now. Just two shots for him, two shots for him. Pretty easy stuff. And get this guy as well. Oh, come on, just one more, one more. This guy, ready? Yes, oh wait, 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 not enough, not enough. Come on, keep going, keep going, you can do it. Now these three, if we take out these three, it should be enough. Yes, quest completed. Push back the ghost pirates, we did it, guys. Now we can keep going on. <laughs> cool. And then, ooh, what is going on over here? Uh, stuff. Let's take him out then. If they're gonna be doing stuff to us, we're gonna do stuff to them. That's beating them up. Oh wait, wait let's get out of that mode. I'm just gonna be maining the revolutionary soldier for a while if he's gonna be doing this much damage. Though, I gotta say, and we're building up a cannon here. And what are we gonna do with this? Uh, oh my. Oh look, we have our pirate pals. They just were hiding in the sand. I guess they were waiting for us. They knew that we could save them. <laughs> and more, more of them are rowing in here on the beach. <laughs> wow, a lot of them too. Cool. Now what is this one? This one's a Desperado. I like how he was green. It's actually pretty cool looking. Hmm. All right, we will switch to uh, this guy. Actually, why don't we try out the biker really quick? Let's go over and switch you with the biker, I think. Here, where is the biker? The biker's over here. And we'll replace the Tiki Man with him. But he is high in defense, just like the the um, Tiki Man. So he um, hits people with his wrench, and then what is this? Whoa, that's actually really cool. I like that a lot. Awesome. Then we could get more people up here. There we go. More battles happening. So we could, uh, you know, keep doing this to encourage that the pirates fight the other pirates. <laughs> but for now, we we've done everything we can in this area, so we could keep getting our stars. Just keep moving on. These guys are attacking me like crazy though. The right click move is a little hard to land, but I think it'll be really good against bosses. So that's, uh, I think that's something I wanna keep around. All right, let's get you, Mr. Monkey, get out of here. <laughs> and you too, ready? Oh, wait, 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 I don't have the time for it yet. I gotta wait a little longer before I can use that. Hmm. Oh, more of them, there we go. It's definitely not really a damaging thing, but more of a stun, maybe even a finisher. So I'll definitely have to keep that in mind. We're already halfway through level six, so hopefully we'll get there by tomorrow, or I keep on saying tomorrow when I say, when I say our next episode, but maybe if I post the videos every day, I don't have to worry about it, it'll make sense. But either way, let's, um. oh, oh these pirates are on my side. I'm like, why can't I beat them up? <laughs> the evil biker who hates everybody, including pirates, dead pirates, jackets, monkeys, and tiki men. And everything else. Hate those things too. And there we go. Ahoy, land lubber. We're in a new area. Uh, whew. We made it. Welcome to Pirate Town. Hooray. Pirate Town is a safe haven for all good pirates. A place to meet other pirates, divide treasure, plan adventures, and did I mention treasure? So like a YMCA for pirates. Cool. The Pirate Council, led by Captain Pete, the oldest pirate in the pirate world meets in the peg-legged mermaid tavern. We need to speak to the pirate council, but there are strict rules. It is a privilege reserved to pirate captains. Froshbuckler, aren't you a pirate captain? I was, but I forgot to pay my membership fee and uh... Typical <clears throat> swashbuckler. Then how are we going to convince him about Dreadlick? I'll think of something. Let's just go and talk to Captain Pete. This way! All right then, so we can go find Captain Pete in the tavern. We'll do that in the next episode. For now, we'll adventure around. It seems like this area has more to it. So let's check out what's around before we go to Captain Pete and stuff. Because I think that's going to bring us on to an entirely new area. So we can go and mingle with other pirates. What is this? I'm curious. This is the Adventure Zone, Volcano Island. Through the mighty volcano, you will find a secret 
hideout and we'll get the pirate captain. You also have to become a pirate, follow the story quest and find out how to become a pirate captain. So we can't quite do that just yet. So that's something we do in the future. If we check out our map here, the Volcano Island is, where is that? That's over here. So just a little over. So we're definitely doing that next. There's so many different areas. The Dinosaur Rise looks cool. Mythology Mountains looks cool. Pirates Dark, Dark Side looks, there's so many. And we could also go to the, maybe that's something we'll do soon though, is go to the Lego Center, because that's something we've yet to do. I'm not sure. Hmm, but let's go up this way, see what's on in this area. Not too much, it just seems to be like a nice area. Oh, we can talk to you. Hello again, friend, are you looking for directions? The pay, okay, I, I, I know, I know about this. I know all about this. Oh, wait, wait, the boat to the treasure island is here. Be careful with the sea monster. And you can always, you can always travel to other lands? I guess there was a word mess in there, and places, Okay, cool. So let's um, look around a bit more. I'm just sort of enjoying the sights, enjoying the air. I think this area over here is a pocket quest. I'm not really sure though. Let's check it out ourselves. Um, this one is, oh, you get a piggy guy. <laughs> treasure Island, cool. Many a minifigure have traveled to this island in search of treasure, but few managed to pass the mighty Kraken. Oh my, that seems pretty cool though. So I'll definitely, I love the piggy guy. He's just so, Funnily unrelated. Let's just go down here finally and see what's relating down here. Definitely seems like we have a lot more new things to do, which is pretty darn awesome. It's always fun to have a bunch of stuff to do in games like this, but it looks like just another area. It's like a whole like vacation relax zone for pirates. Oh, uh, what is this? Is this like a little area? Ooh, do you feel lucky? Find Gunslinger Joe in the pirate world, and we can do this. We don't have him currently, correct? Uh, not looking like it. Okay, then there's another goal for us. Find Gunslinger Joe. But either way, I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, make sure to give this video a like, share with your friends and family, and comment in the comment section below. If you've watched this point in the video, make sure you comment Pirate Palace, because this area just sort of seems to be exactly just that. And I'll know that you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebra-tastic viewer. But either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.